Hey guys, it's Cubishin, and today I'm going to show you this tutorial on how to make a dubstep growl in Zenad sub effects. So, this is a demo of one I made, and I'm going to show you how to make it, or something like it. Um, I mean, it's quite easy to make one. There's, you know, I'm not going to give you a step by step everything, but. So, I mean, there's lots of stuff you can do with that. Um, just those two knobs once you're done with your growl. So, first thing you're going to want to do is make sure that knob is turned all the way up. And so is that one. Um, we're going to use those later on. But for now, we need them all the way up. So, this tutorial assumes you have a basic knowledge of Zenad sub effects. If you don't, please watch my other tutorial videos on Zenad sub effects. Otherwise, you won't get a bit of this. So, <laughs> edit instrument, make sure AdSense is enabled, um, keep everything how it is there. Actually, go back and turn the octave down. So, everything will be stepped an octave down in that instrument. So, first thing you want to do voice oscillator right here. There's nothing special to it, just make sure it's something else besides the sign. I mean, I know it could even do that. Why not? Um, turn unison on, like one cent, not very much, and just do it a little bit. That way it just has a tiny bit of stereo to it, otherwise it's going to sound really unprofessional. Um, but this is the big part, because right now it's just going to sound like a weird organ thing. But this FM, this turns into a growl. Of course, right now, it won't sound like a growl because that's just a sign. It'll sound weird and crackly. Change that to a chirp. Mess around with this. Um, don't mess around with harmonics. It'll make your growl weird. Now you can play with the snob. Okay. So this right here was a bad choice for my wave. Let's try something like that. Random overload to see you die. Probably because I'm recording too. Um, so <laughs> basically you just mess around and make a weird carrier wave of some sort. I like the look of that, so we'll do that. Um, okay. I don't know why that's reloading, but I guess I know now. Um, that's just weird. So, after you've got your voice and frequency modulation set up, that's pretty much all there is to growl, except for you're going to want to add some effects, mostly distortion. Um, oops. That makes it stereo, that ma raises the high end, or restores it, I suppose. Um, I'm going to turn the drive up, level, um, did it just crash on me, you kidding me, nope, okay good, um, distortion, A10, going on it to be, turn the drive up, I mean just, A10 gives it more of a crunchy, distorted feel, um, zigzag is mostly for like a wet, like, anyway, so, if it'll stop overloading for no reason, that would be nice. It's never done this to me before. Um, EQ, no, EQ. You're going to want to use the EQ. 
if you can, and if your laptop's not overloading like mine, um, you're going to want to use it to raise... Go already, come on. Um, you're going to want to use it to raise the high end and the low end. And yes, I did say those backwards <laughs> um, as I was doing it. And now... I don't even know what's going on here. I'm afraid to press the key. I'm afraid it's going to crash or something. Oh. It's just the it's just the Zen GUI. So, see what's going on. Oh. My, that's uh very very loud. <laughs> So I mean that sounds pretty good too. So that's really just the general gist of how you build a grounds and add sub effects. Uh, any questions, leave them in the comments. I'll do my best to answer them. Um, I mean that should be pretty easy for you to start making some pretty sweet dubstep stuff now. So um, that's just how you make a growl in Zen add sub effects. So. Thanks, guys. Hope you enjoy that. And I hope it's helpful. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, refer others, please. And, uh, yeah, basically have fantastic music making. Ciao.